Today I received my XYZ printing, DaVinci 1.0 AIO, 3D printer and 3D scanner. Housed all in the one unit. As you can see, the print bed is here and the scanner turntable is here. I was really curious about this product and just had to buy it. I want to see how this product compares to the MakerBot Mini and the MakerBot Digitizer. Oh, the obvious convenience is <coughs> everything is in, in one unit. And that's, that saves space and it saves time between moving between two different machines, which is great. So today I'm going to see what it's like, see, see what the scanning and printing of the Toad from Mario Man will be like. As well as seeing what, how a giraffe will turn out when scanned and printed. And also some more difficult features of the human face from this oversized strange toy. So we'll see, we see how he scans and prints and we should have quite an interesting discovery on the way. DaVinci 1.0 AIO uses a software called XYZ Scan. This is a software that allows you to scan your objects. Seems pretty simple, quite like XYZ Wear. And all we need to do is put our uh, object into the 3D printer. In this case I've chosen Toad from Mario Man. And all we need to do now is press scan. We just confirm the object's moved from the print bed. So just one more confirm confirmation button. The whole process I think takes about five minutes which is great. It's got quite a lot of the details, although it's quite a simple model, but it's really quite a, not a bad scan. It's even got the slot for the coin holder, as it's a money bank. So it'll be really fun printing this and to see what see how the print turns out. There is also these smoothing functions, which you can move up to smooth the object a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> and we can also increase the quality as well. So go for Save object with maximum detail. Go for that. Okay, now that we've saved the object with the maximum detail, let's go to print. Once you press print and XYZ scan, you're automatically sent to XYZ where the model is already imported and placed in the center of the 3D print bed, the virtual 3D print bed. And from here, we just need to press print. You can press auto repair, just to fill in any gaps that you might have for the 3D scanning process, which sometimes can happen. Uh, we'll just leave it at good, the quality setting at good, and now we'll press print and hopefully get a really good print at the end of it.
Okay, I've just completed the first run of the DaVinci AIO 3D printer and scanner. I scanned Toad from Mario Man and then 3D printed him and he turned out like this. Quite a lot of good details came out here. You can see them, you've got the coin slot at the back here and you can actually also see the eyes here. Now this is just straight 3D scan to 3D print using all the automated features on the XYZ scan software so it was really quite easy to go from this object to this object and actually just make it smaller and modify it a little bit as well so I have to say very impressed with the DaVinci AIO seems really simple let's scan some more objects The Vinci AIO is a really good product. I'm very impressed with how, how it all turned out. It's great that they've got the 3D printer and the 3D scanner all in one unit. That means it's compact, it's convenient. I've not got two units. It's also very reasonably priced. The print quality is good. The scan quality is good. It's a real, real competitor. It's a really great innovation. It's very convenient, very easy to use. Definitely take it out of the box and just start using the DaVinci AIO. Very easy to use. How does it match up to the MakerBot digitizer? And the MakerBot replicator, I think it matches up pretty well. You've got these, <coughs> with the DaVinci we've only got one product, that's all we need, but with the MakerBot products at the moment, I need two, I need my Digitizer and I need my Replicator Mini, which are okay products, but having them inside the DaVinci by itself is really, really convenient, it saves space for me, which is great, instead of having two machines. So overall, I'm really impressed with the DaVinci AIO, the scans are great here, the prints are pretty great, so it's really impressive here.